Welcome to the Creation Evaluation Station. Today, we will be evaluating this. It's a, uh, that's the front. And here is the back. It's once again got that white background. Well, it makes much more sense on these Evo sets. Now this is a uh, Zane's Power Up Mac Evo. So it's part of the Evo line. It's uh, set number 71761. It's ages 6 and up. It has 95 pieces and retails for $9.99 on the LEGO website. And check the description down below for details. And uh, that's about it for details. Just a quick reminder about the uh, uh, timestamps down below in the description. Uh, they will take you to whichever part you would be more interested in the video. If you don't want to watch the whole thing or you don't have time to watch the whole thing, you can watch it in bits, bits and chunks until you've seen it all or just your favorite parts. So with that, let's go put it together. Here we have the contents of the box small booklet we have two bag ones rather strange and then a bag two for a total of three bags and there were no sticker sheets yay <laughs> um probably because it's well, it doesn't need any stickers by the looks of it anyways but uh yeah that's it here's our figures for the set um I, like I've said before, I'm not crazy over the uh, the geese for this uh, set, a season, wave, wave. And, I mean, they're they're not terrible, but I just don't care for them. They're they're really nicely designed, but in just personal opinion, don't like them very well. And you can see here they quite contrast with the. Uh, the bad guy's um, armor. Let me just take his uh, gun away. Which, by the way, I really like those new gun type pieces. But, yeah. The simplified pattern here compared to the, the bad guy's torsos. Uh, the, there's quite the difference between them. I mean, the ninjas all look great together with that simple style, but when you look at them with the, the bad guys, they're a little off. Now, got uh, Zane's hair there, uh, but uh, we'll put it on here in a moment. There we go. He's got his hair. The whole reason why he doesn't have two faces is because of his hair. We finally have a set that has his hair. Uh, well... And yes, I took the other guy's head off. You can see see the torso prints a lot better. And in just a moment, we are going to flip these guys around. Like I said, no backward back printing for his face. And there it is. Also, we can pair those backs. One very detailed, and the other one's quite simple looking. Um, that's what they're going for. It's just maybe. Do something with the villains too so they look more simplified i mean technically i like their torsos they're pretty cool just just the whole aesthetic is a bit off between the two i thought we'd look at them before i put all this armor on this is the uh, pre-evo stage before he gets all powered up and i'm gonna say he's pretty decent yeah you see the back he's uh pretty bare bones back there but that's not too important. Uh, there's, uh, you can see his legs in there along the side. So he's not fully covered up down there, but he's not fully covered up up top either. It's more of a power armor suit, more than a, a full mech. Uh, probably the most disappointing part of it is the, is the hands. Um, like something else could have been done with them to just look more hand light I and mean, it's just a 
basically a one by two with clips on it, which the clips are fine, lets them hold on to weapons and things, but uh, something could be done with the hands to make them look better. Uh, but you know, overall it doesn't look bad. Uh, it's simple, but it doesn't look like too junior fine. It's got some nice angles to it. It's got a nice stance, the arms, now there's no bending at the elbows and knees. They're already like perma bent, but they're at a nice angle. It gives them a nice posing. Like you can see here, he's uh, posable. Get a nice uh, running stance going there. Um, of course, it helps to have those big blacky feet, um, which is fine. The feet look fine as well. They work with it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the pre-power-up stage. All right, we've got them all put together here now. Uh, with all this fancy armor on, and I must say, the armor looks makes him look even better than he did before. The gold uh, trim on it really adds nice sharpness to the to the other what was pretty much just white and blue. Um, the, the the blades, you know, that's gonna be fun for kids and it looks cool. Now, the other weapon, his elemental sword. Now, I understand he's they're using basically the same one he's got in his hand, but they really could have put a larger sword in here, like the, the one that the uh, Lloyd's, um, Hydro mech had, and they were really, really cool if they made blades, elemental blades, of different colors of that size, and use them. It would work much better for these mechs. Um, those little, the little swords just—they look kind of ridiculous. Uh, but yes, if they made them larger, they would look really good. Is a banner up top, uh, the collectible. Um, looks good where it's at. Makes sense for the mech. Uh, and regarding those armor pieces, they really help give the those arm pieces more dimension because they are really thin. Um, it, it was bu it's built up a little bit, but uh, with that you can it, it builds up a lot more and. Uh, you can build on the side so you can even change the thickness more or do something different if you needed to. Um, I think it, it it's kind of fun. It's, I mean, it's a larger piece system. Like, they use a lot of bigger pieces. But uh, I think there's a lot that could be done with them. They look, they look pretty nice and then you could build on top of them and make them look different or whatnot. Uh, not much more to say. Oh, he's, yeah, the the nice uh, printing on his chest piece there is a nice touch as well. All right, just to show how his cockpit works. So a large piece, a newer piece for this year, opens up the whole thing. And he actually fits in really tight. And I think it's nice how he does it. You can see it's it's flat here on the bottom. There are not studs where his feet. Studs are actually on the wall behind him, and uh, they fit into the back of his legs. And that's what's oops holding him in, but apparently not his headpiece. You have to make sure his arms are all the way back so that these will close, so he wouldn't be able to hold any weapons. Uh, while he's inside there. All right, we're back here at the desk. I'll give this a grade. Yeah, I didn't show this over there, but uh, in the light box. But look at this. You can even stand up on one leg and give a nice karate kick. Um, you know, those blocky feet do help a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, he can balance pretty good. Uh, but anyways. We'll see how long he stays like that. 
Uh, he's fine, he's sturdy, but I might bump it. <laughs> uh, that's the only problem. All right, so for appearance, this is actually really good looking. Even without the armor on it, it looked decent. It, it had some nice curves and um, edges and a, a nice look about him. I mean, nothing too fancy, of course. He looks much fancier like this with the gold on and uh, the, the extra armor and stuff. Pieces that bulk him up. Make them look tougher. Uh, the only detrimental I mentioned before with his appearance are the hands and the little dinky sword. Lego, put a big sword in there. Keep the little one in for the minifigure. Put a big one in there. We'll be all set. Uh, it'd be cool to have a large elemental sword for each character anyways. Uh, well, they don't all have mechs yet but that would that would be nice to do um but yeah other than that it looks really well the figures of course look well despite you know the style of the uh the ninjas um but overall it, it looks really good um so i'll be giving it an eight it's uh you know, if it had the hands fixed and a decent sword, it'd probably be a 9 or 10. Uh, and probably almost bump it up to a 10. Uh, it really does look nice. It doesn't look too kiddified or anything else, even though, you know, you put it together, there's a lot of large pieces. Um, the main building aspect is probably the main body, and that's got a large panel piece that is used for the front. Um, but overall, it still looks good, despite all that. Um, as function goes, well, it works fine, as you can see. It can even stand up on one leg. So yeah, the posability is great in this. Um, the only problem is, and it's not really a big problem because it looks fine, is the way the joints are, um, they cannot sit flush, like... His legs cannot go straight down from the side of his body. They have to always be out at a slight angle. And the same for his arms up top. They, they can never sit flush with the, the, the body without... Well, you'd have to modify it to do that. But it, it doesn't really affect it too much. Besides, you want him spread out in an action pose like this. Um, so, there's that. I guess if you're using this, you know, type of thing and you wanted to do that, you'd have to take that into consideration. Um, probably extend the little joints there out away from the body a little bit so you could get more, a little bit more motion in that way. Uh, but other than that, if, you know, the, the blade works great. See, look at that. I'm spinning it and he's, he's still standing there. He's wobbling a little bit. But uh, that works fine, great. It's good fun, which we'll get to that in a moment. So um, as far as functions going, he's getting a nine. It works great. It works good. The new gun shooters work really too well too, <laughs> um, and they look cool. Like they look kind of like a sci-fi weapon. They they remind me of Batman's uh, grappling gun. Um, at least the one from the, the original Batman the animated series cartoon. Uh, now, fun. Well, like I said, this robot's very fun to move around, pose. He's got this nice fun blade to play with. This, like I said, could be better, so it just looks better on him, but it, be a little bit more fun too. The only problem is the fun is it feels a little off balance. See the big guy? See the little bad guy. Um, maybe just add another figure in, although that would probably push the price up a little bit more. But a small vehicle for him, maybe. You know, uh, I know some of the other ones um, have backpacks with a, some kind of 
build or weapon attachment to it. Um, something like that would would have helped. Um, I understand they're trying to keep it to a certain price point, and uh, but yeah, I could use a little bit of that. So uh, fun, fun is also getting a nine. Lots of fun. It's, you know, even though there's an unbalanced, there, there's a lot of play value with this, um, as you can obviously see here. <laughs> uh, but technique. You know, there's nothing amazing here. We got the new pieces and how they go together. And I'm curious what more we can do with that, which I'm going to be doing a video that might be looking into that. But as far as what the techniques are for this, you know, it's pretty basis, basic. You got, you know, ball joints on each end of the legs and the arms and they attach to, to the, the, the sockets. Um, the, the build for the body is where most of the building technique is, and it's pretty basic. There's not much more I think you'd want to do with it. Uh, it, it comes off with a pretty good shape. I mean, if you wanted to close off the leg area or maybe even put like a enclosure over the top, that, but that's not what they're going for with these mechs. Uh, they're more power armors than they are mechs. Um, need to get one of my the Marvel power mechs, mechs out and just do a side by side comparison with these uh, sometime. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of fun, and the techniques aren't amazing. So it's getting kind of a mediocre score of an eight. Nothing, there's nothing bad here, um, and it's good to get good enough to get the thing done. There was nothing fancy that was done. Could have there been done something fancy? Maybe. Uh, but is it really needed? Doesn't feel like it. This feels like a good solid toy. Um, so overall, the overall rating is going to be an eight point five. It's a, a decent set. Um, nothing super amazing. It's definitely not bad. I've heard a lot of, you know, people complaining about these. Of course, that's just from pictures. They don't get them in their hands and stuff like that. And uh, I must say, I do kind of want to get the smaller green mech just to give it a comparison to this. I know that one's even, that's a four plus set and has even less going for it um but uh pretty basic but we, we wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind checking it out just the same hopefully we could uh, check it out and see if we can uh, even make it cooler like this one is no pun intended by the way all right so now the price it's was 95 pieces and came to nine ninety nine, almost ten bucks. And uh, do the math, and it's ten cents. So it's like right on the money. So you wouldn't want it any different. Um, said they were probably going for a particular price range, ten dollar price range, and uh, that's why. Even though there's little bit of things here and there they could have added, it would have cost more. Um, not a lot more, probably like, you know, 15, but they don't really do $15 price points or maybe 12 or something. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, it, it's getting a, it's a good price, good set. It's getting a G it's good. Uh, so for our totals grade, it is 8.5 G and, uh, I, I gotta say, I really like this little fun little mech, and it, it's quite durable, um, and I don't mind them not being quite as durable, I'm not gonna sit here and play with them, but for younger kids, because this is six or seven, let's say, six plus, for younger kids, this is great, and uh, people complain about knees and elbow joints and stuff like that, 
Um, Lego isn't going to do knees and elbows for, especially knees for um, robots, mechs, whatever, creatures um, for a certain um, age group. Um, they, they've learned their lesson with that with uh, way back with the uh, Exoforce. That's the right name for it. Um, way um, series that they had a while back. And uh, the, what they wanted is for it to be easily played with. You know, and the kids don't have to tinker with knees. They can just plop it down and stretch it out. And there it goes. He's going to stand. He's a little, a little awkward here. It's just at his ankle tilted plus. It's a little uneven here. This uh, board I have it on. But like you see, saw before, I could get him to stand on one leg. So it's not the most terrible thing. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh, tell me what you think down in the comments, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. And, uh, overall, what do you think of these new sets and pieces that are coming out? Um, I think they have potential. You know, you start building with them with your other bricks or whatever, and you're gonna come up with some pretty neat things. Um, so, and we'll be looking at that eventually. Not this video. So, uh, if you have yet, haven't yet, or you're new here, um, please subscribe and uh, get notifications with the notification button. I also have uh, uh, Twitter and Facebook links down below so you can get notified that way as well. And uh, stick around. And, of course, remember, creativity is key. We have the uh, uh, leftovers from this set. Not much. Uh, there is the instructions show only two of these, and there is three. So technically, that is a an extra piece. Although you know, it's always good to have extra ammo. And then this is an extra piece to the gun. Probably I don't know if those things will wear out. Would wear out, but it's probably good to have them just in case. Fortunately, there's not much else you could do with them to build anything, but uh, those are the leftovers. Not much. It's almost like a 4 plus set, only it's not. Here's the contents of bag one. Or should I say bags one, since there were two labeled one. One had smaller pieces than the other in it. I'm not sure what that is. Here are the new arm pieces, or whatever you want to call them. Mixel joint pieces. Oh, we have the uh, new stud shooter, and I believe these here are part of that. There's two of them. There's probably an extra one. I said a lot of little pieces. Well, not too many, but those were in this other bag. We have both the Zane and the Snake Warrior in this first bag, and look at that. Zane's got his hair piece for once. Alright, that's about it for that bag. Bzz. Bags. This is bag two. I believe this is all the power up parts. That's how the Evo line kind of goes. You get the basic build and then you get parts to power it up after it's defeated enemies or whatnot. And here we have a very big blue clear shuriken. Now, I'm pretty sure we've had this piece before. Well, it's not too common. I'm not sure about the color though. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that got plenty of gold pieces to help accent it. These new armor pieces, which are pretty neat, and both in white and gold. And See there, there are studs on the inside, studs on side, and some on the top. Uh, we have Zane's cowl, 
And some other odds and ends. We have two printed pieces in here. There's this one. And also this one, which is part of the collectible thingy that's going on with this line. Ah. Uh, other than that, there's not much in this last bag. Thank you.